Are you tired of struggling from a lack of energy? Well, it may be because of what you're drinking. Hey, I'm Jason Cheney, and that's what we're going to dig into today. So this is really funny because back in the day, I used to drink tons of uh, caffeinated uh, energy drinks like Monster, Red Bull, things like that. And one of the things I realized was I was always looking for more energy. So I was just picking up another can and my energy was just never sustaining. In fact, it wasn't sustaining. It wasn't able to sustain my weight. I kept gaining weight and I became just very lethargic and just very, very, just for lack of better words, lazy in my opinion. And what I mean by that is because I was struggling for energy. I was begging for it and I just didn't know what to do. And I thought that there was something wrong with me. And so after I went on a journey, we left the United, I left the United States and started to um, change my whole lifestyle, what I eat, what I drink. I started to understand one thing. Hold up. I'm drinking all of these energy drinks for energy, but I'm not drinking what I actually need for my body. And that was water. So I wasn't drinking water each and every day. In fact, I probably was getting less than a cup to two cups in a day because I was drinking so many um, energy drinks to get all of my um, just cause I was suffering from energy for lack of it, for um, low energy. And so when I started switching, uh, cutting off the energy drinks and going to just water, I noticed that my energy was just skyrocketing. I was able to walk more. I started feeling better. Also, my body just started releasing a lot of uh, built up water that I was retaining each and every day. So I started seeing um, my feet stop, uh, the swelling in my feet and my hands started to go down. If you've seen some of my old pictures that I'll be sharing on the page, you'll see that like, whoa, my hands and everything was big. I used to wear a size 18 shoe. <laughs> That's how bad it was. And now I wear a size 13. And that was all because I was holding on water and I wasn't taking care of my body properly. And so that's how I ended up discovering that when I um, discovered my seven step process to actually losing weight, that part of it is we have to flush out all of those things that we've been drinking in our body that is not helping us out. So that's the caffeinated energy drinks, the sodas. All of these things are just full of empty calories. And here's just a pro tip for you. Even if it says zero calories, that doesn't mean there's no calories in it. All that mean is it's in the threshold to where they can legally put zero on the label. <laughs> so that is, is really crazy. It's complicated. When I first started reading and understanding these things that um, zero calories, zero sugar and all of these, they're all just marketing things to use. It's the same way that um, if you go to certain grocery stores and they'll say things like, oh, this is all natural. And then you read the label and it's just full of chemicals. Don't be confused with marketing to what's going to and, and uh, mixed up with marketing from what's going to actually take care of your health. I was in that that uh, rat race for a long time of listening to all the marketing and I was doing so much harm to my body. Like I was taking stuff like Xenadrin. I was drinking all of these weird drinks that they were giving me all of this shit. that didn't do nothing to help me out. And all I was doing was still gaining weight. Until I actually stopped listening to all that marketing and started to actually realize what does it mean to be healthy? What do I have to do and start taking control of it? Even I stopped asking my doctors. That's when I actually took control of my health. And that's how I'm where I'm at today. And honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with people like plants saved my life. If I didn't find this, I don't think I would be alive here today. And so this is why I want to share this with you. Make sure you're drinking in drinking your water. So if you drink a soda or something, Drink a water right afterward or drink a water right before it. Just do one for one and then just slowly process uh, back down off of the sodas and just add more water. If you're someone um, who needs a lot of taste, like if you're looking for a taste and water just is a little too bland for you, flavor it up, add fruit to it, uh, make a smoothie or something with it. Uh, do um, add juice with water to it, like, but use actual fruit juice, not fruit drink, because those are two different. Uh, actually, I might talk about that tomorrow, the difference between fruit juice and fruit drink. Um, if you want to know more about it, just let me know. So I hope that was helpful for you. Make sure you're getting your water in because it's very important. It's way more than just hydration. It has a lot to do with losing weight and just having a healthy body. So I hope that was helpful for you. Also, if you want to know more about this, and stuff like this, uh, just click the link above or below, depending on where it is in this video. And you can actually join my free uh, Facebook group where I uh, share different tips and tricks about being plant-based. And I'll also show you how to use the seven-step process to tune up your body 
to go supercharge and with that uh like today you um if you're not in there you uh, missed out but you can still get in and catch the video i did today where i actually explained how to actually start swapping out properly uh some uh, animal proteins for plant proteins in your food home so just click the link up above or below depending on where it is and i'll see you tomorrow ciao